Hello, hello, everyone, and thank you so much. I'm so excited that you're joining me on this lesson where we get to explore the question, is a square also a rectangle? So let's tackle this problem using an analogy, and we'll start out with the definition of a cookie, which is defined as a small baked treat, typically round, flat, and crisp. And this definition certainly applies to the Oreo cookie, which happens to be one of my favorites. Oh yeah! So now I want you to think about the question, is every cookie an Oreo? And our answer, of course, is no. We should know that there are many different kinds of cookies that satisfied our definition, including sugar cookies, chocolate chip cookies, Girl Scout cookies, and gingerbread cookies. Ooh. So we can conclude that an Oreo is a special kind of cookie, and that every Oreo is a cookie, but not every cookie is an Oreo. So believe it or not, we just engaged in mathematical reasoning. And now we're going to take that same kind of thinking and apply it to our original question, is a square a rectangle? So let's go ahead and start off with the definition of a rectangle, which is a four-sided figure with four right angles. And again, we want to see if a square will satisfy this definition and allow us to answer the question, is every square a rectangle? Now we are all familiar with squares and rectangles and we can easily draw four-sided figures with four right angles that would be considered rectangles and satisfy our definition. I'm sure that you can also identify four-sided figures that are not rectangles, namely a parallelogram or a trapezoid, because they do not have four right angles. Now remember, since the square satisfied the definition of a rectangle, we can say that a square is a special kind of rectangle. And what makes it special is not the fact that it has four right angles, but the fact that it has four equal sides. So all the sides are congruent. So if you knew that one side of a square was five, you would know that all the sides must be five. So we can conclude that every square is a rectangle, but not every rectangle is a square. So when you're asking yourself this question and you have a figure like the one shown, if it has four right angles and four sides, then you can conclude that the figure is a rectangle. And if those four sides are all the same length, then you can also conclude that the figure is a square. Remember that a square is a special kind of a rectangle. But also remember that not every rectangle is a square. If we extend our figure and double the length from 5 to 10, it still represents a rectangle, but this is not a square, again, because the side lengths are not the same. And that is it for this lesson. Thank you so much for joining us here at Mashup Math. We definitely teach things a little bit more creatively and from a different perspective. We like to be colorful and fun. So we hope that you enjoyed it and we hope that we got you thinking about this topic in a different way. And we will catch all of you next time. Please stop again soon and have a good one. See ya. Oh, yeah. All right, everyone, that was it for that lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. Be sure to click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We add new lessons every week. We have some really awesome stuff coming. We don't want you to miss out. And also be sure to subscribe to our mailing list. The link is in the description below. We send out a newsletter every week, updating you on all the cool stuff that Mashup Math is up to. It's all really cool content. It's all free. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. We're everywhere, guys. So. Don't miss out. Check us out. Subscribe to that mailing list and you'll be good to go. And we will catch you guys next time. See ya.